So now we come to the fun part. Quite a lot of questions in your exams will be based on graphs. Now let's talk about different kinds of graphs that you can produce. We are going to start off with the distance time graph, which a lot of you should have encountered in your primary schools. Basically, it compares the distance a car has traveled with the time. To explain the first one first, the car at rest. Let's say a car stops in the middle of a road somewhere. So, no matter how much time passes, the distance from the beginning remains the same. For example, you can see here that it keeps being 25. So, what we will do, right, is plot the graph 0, 25, 1, 25, 2, 25, and so on. And we will see that in a distance time graph, a car at rest would produce a straight horizontal line. Let's compare this to a car moving at a uniform speed. It will change its distance from the front by a certain set amount. For example, here will be 10 meters per second squared, which means it should increase in distance from the front by 10 meters every second. The time is zero, the distance is zero, time is one, distance is 10, time is two, distance is 20, and so on. If you drew the graph like this, you would see that a car moving with uniform speed would produce a straight diagonal line on the graph. So now we're going to compare this graph, the one with the uniform speed, to this graph where the car moves with a non-uniform speed. This is the graph of where the car is accelerating. Acceleration means that it is increasing its speed with every second. So you can see here that at first, from 0 to 1 second, the change in distance is only 10. However, from 1 to 2 seconds, the change in distance is 25 minus 10, which is 15. From 2 seconds to 3 seconds, the distance moved is actually 20. So you can see that the car is moving more distance in each consecutive second. If you plot the graph over here, 0, 0, 1, 10, 2, 25, and so on, you will see that when the car is accelerating on a distance time graph, the graph would curve upwards. This is compared with the previous one where it was a uniform speed. When it was a uniform speed, it would be a straight diagonal line. So when there is acceleration, we should also look at deceleration. When a car is decelerating, at first, it is going at a fast speed where it is covering a lot of distance per time. However, it covers less and less distance per time as time passes. So over here, you can see that here there's 30 meters covered per second. In the next second, it only covers 25 meters and the distance drops per second. So when you plot the graph, you can see that it actually forms this shape. It would curve downwards instead. So previously, when a car was accelerating, it would curve upwards. When a car is decelerating, it would curve downwards.